going to do another uh, Next Mutation toy. As you can see, the series is called, uh, I have, have it right here, Thunder Trasher. But, the, the, but they call this one, uh, Shoot the Curl Dawn. It's just called a Thunder Trasher Don Tello. Um, I found it at Frankincense and it's not complete at all. Um, however, I have another one. There it is. Another one I found at Frankincense. Another series of the Thunder Trasher. And of course, I found the other Next Mutation to Turtle Toys, which that's what these are from the 1997 series. So uh, let's do an up and close look of Dontel. Alright, so here's Dontel up and close. Took me a while to realize who it was because the back part actually moves and I was like, wait man, it looks different. But, this is a long piece, so curled up. As you can see, his face. is in very good shape, as you can see. This little belt. Now, Don Tell's personality was different because he uh, doesn't believe in magic. He's all science this, science that. But he was kind of, kind of a smart ass, kind of like. And he's a little elbow pad. And yes, the turtles are for the series of Thunder Trashers or something like that. Yeah, Thunder Trashers. They're all wearing pants, or Venus is wearing shorts. Let's see. Come on, okay, I got some nineteen ninety seven Morgan Studio playing with toys. Remember, kids, this is before Viacom bought them, or Peter gave it to him. Um, him standing up is not so hard. I mean, he's, there's his legs are doesn't bend like how are I like you know. Like these, they kind of you know how the legs are all bent. You can actually move them around, have more details to it. But not with these ones. The only thing that they, they can actually do is like lift, take the ass as far as their arm goes out. Like that. And your typical movements. Of course, at the wrist, it actually it turns. Same thing with the. This part right here, it moves. Leg actually does move, but the kneecap doesn't bend or anything like that, or the waist doesn't move or anything like that. Um, if you can't already tell, the pants does not come off whatsoever. I don't know why you want to take off Dontel's pants. The head does not roll around, it actually just moves your typical movements left and right. But however, Venus head does not move. I don't know why. Maybe somebody glue it. I'm not quite sure. I'm not gonna bother with it. But this is the second series or the second part of the Trashers. Thunder Trashers, as you can see. I still had to look for more. Um, I've been looking for more Next Mutation Turtle toys. Um, I put my Turtle toys in zip up bags so the paint won't rub off. And I put a little box like this. I don't know if you can see it looks like this. It only costs 99 cents or a dollar, so hey, we'll go for it, you know? Um, I do not have an original Don Tell for the next mutation toys whatsoever. Only the one that is original that I do have back home is Raphael and Leonardo, and now Michelangelo, as you can see, and of course, the original Venus. But, um, yeah. Tell me guys what you think about, um, Trasher. Thunder Trasher, Don I don't know why I'm having difficulties you know, saying it. But, um. Oh yeah, let me show you something also. What's the original Don As you can see, the next rotation turtle toys are a lot taller. Of course, different color skin. It has more like the Raphael color. Which is right here, as you can see. So there's big differences. I don't know if they're actually gonna make the next rotation to classic toys or what or what, I don't know. That's be pretty cool. 
the one thing is, um, Don Chalo does come with a skateboard that is actually his size with different, his own color, which I'm looking for it. I hope I can find it to complete my turtle toys, which completing the turtle toys are a lot more complicated than finding the turtle toys. So that's what these are holes are here for. So they got actually bounce on top of the skateboard. Each of them are all different, but yet the whole part underneath, uh, oh wait, there is. the whole part is actually where to, you know, stick them right into the skateboard so they can bounce them. It's not like a skinny little, you know, a little skinny little uh, skateboard. It's actually a pretty wide size uh, skateboard, so to put them on top. I have seen Don Chalo with um, blue weapons. Um, if you own this actual uh, figure with the full weapons and everything, and I and you had different colors of weapons, please tell me. So I can write my booklet, my little my little booklet thing, as you can see right here. I write everything down, so what I come across with and everything. Um, if you still in this package, it's gonna cost a little bit more, like around fifty or sixty bucks, as far as I see. Um, I got this for like I think like three bucks for dollars. Um, if you notice anything different, anything different color, different smile, or I don't know anything, anything at all, just please tell me, and I could, so I can write also that down on my booklet. Um, as far as I can think of, is right there. So put your comments down. Tell me what you think. Um, please share this video with other fans out there. And those of you who are fans of The Sopranos, uh, the, the actor Tony James, um, he actually passed away today. Just, uh, I just heard the news and I'm pretty much in shock. Uh, I thought he was a really good actor. So, um, yeah, rest in peace, dude. As if he's gonna really see my videos. So, anyways, um, so yeah, so, uh, take, I just see a question. So, I'm I just do your collection, people, because um, I mean, we some of you are probably not a big fans of the next next mutation um, series like I was. Like eh, it was alright, blah blah blah. But um, yeah, the toys are awesome. Seriously, so add your add just to your collection, people. Uh, put them in Ziploc bags so they paint one, you know, get scraped up, and put in a dollar or ninety nine cents um, plastic case, um, so they won't get crushed or anything or broke or whatever. Um. Yeah, so uh, I also want to mention that this toy right here is not rubber just like the original Next Mutation toy. It's all plastic, like hard plastic. Nothing rubber, nothing, you know, bendable or anything like that, except for this piece right here. It's, that's the only thing that is rubber, rubber I should say. But, um, yeah, so uh, until next time, people, take care of yourself, and uh, happy hunting, everyone. See you later. Alright, it's eBay time. Um, as you can see, I'm already loading up the video, making my review as we speak. So, uh, let's do eBay. And um, here's are the classics, all four of them still in a package. I saw it only once in my life of this at Toys R Us. And um, they were $20 each, so they got two, four, six, eighty bucks all together, plus tax. And, um, yeah, this guy wanted for $500. Uh, you know, I love how they call it retro, like, oh, here's the reason new. And look at, look at, oh, I didn't notice this either. 1988 retro set of all four Leonardo, Raphael, and Don Tello. Wait, where, where's my gun shelf? Just only four. Alright. This idiot. Think this is a 1988 um, originals, even though this is the classic that just came out in 2012, I do believe, thir 2013. And he put down 88 retro set. Okay, okay, then we all know this guy's an idiot. Uh, here's a dude who's selling it. I'm curious what the pro oh my god, where is it? Here's the shipping $12.95. Okay, if you're asking for five hundred dollars, this should not be on here at all. But once again, this idiot thinks this is the original set of the eighties from the, of nineteen eighty-eight. Doesn't know that the word classic. That's what it means. Um, brand new. Da 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 da. da. Well, yeah, like I said, new in package, nineteen eighty-eight retro set. Supposed to. Nah, nah. 
Uh, inspired by the original animation. Oh, so he knows. <clears throat> it's supposed to be the animated version. That I don't know. This guy's like a goofball. I don't know. Includes sewer base. Yeah, okay. I right, figured that out. But I don't know, guys. Tell me what you guys think. This is completely retarded. Somebody has already sold this for $500. I mean, I can understand later on in the future, this will be priced up because these are collectibles. But not right now. But yet, people are still trying to, you know, make money off of this. But now, if you're going to call it 1988 retro set, it's called the classic based on the series. Not the toys, but the series. I don't know. Put your comments down and tell me what you think.